In this video, I'm going to introduce a six-phase synchronous generator mode built by myself in Simulink. While I was doing a simulation of six-phase synchronous generator system, usually used in electric vehicle, I found the generator mode to not exist in the library of SimPower system, so I decided to build by myself. The six-phase generator mode is based on these equations. Here's the voltage equation, here's the flux linkage equation, and uh, here is the equation of excitation system. As we've seen, the biggest block in the middle is the six-phase generator. Look under the mask. The generator mode is consist of power generator component the motor equations and the excitation circuit and the most important part is these two block now let's look inside the voltage equation block I use several MATLAB function blocks to realize the equations this block made the model easy to do the matrix operation here is the code look into the mechanical block using the number of pole pairs the model turns the mechanical angular velocity into the electric angular velocity and get the electric angular by add an integrator. Next, let's check the power generate component. The power generate component is used to generate current and deliver them to the outside through six physics parts and the model is built with four controlled current source as shown. And this block can transform the line to line voltage into face to face voltage. The excitation circuit is quite simple as we see. To change the parameters, I create a mask for the generator mode. And we can change the resistance of stator, self inductance, motor inductance, and other parameter with this panel. To do the simulation, we need some other components outside the generator. A rotor speed is given. And the PWM pulse used to control the excitation circuit is generated by this controller. A DC source is connected to supply the excitation circuit. Two diode bridge is connected in parallel as a rectifier. And uh, at the DC side is a capacitance and a 5000 kilowatt load. Here they are. Now let's run the simulation. Let's check the measurement. These are the waveforms of DC voltage, output current, and the exciting current. This is the end. 
Thanks very much.